So the idea of the machine that it exists 24 seven, it allows you to be able to now put things like your media and your content. We've got real time alerts on here. So if there's a fentanyl alert in Castlegar or Caslow or Nelson, we can have all the sites connected together. If somebody's looking for supplies, support, or wants to give up some information, we can dispense all the products that are normally handed out over a desk in here. By going through that, we can also then go into our survey tool, which allows us to collect information from the users of the system. So if there's anything that's relevant to them, we can now collect that information. So if they've not overdosed, we can collect that information and we now have some record that somebody's answered a question. We can connect them to more support services, so we can give them literature. This can be sent to their phone, they can access it through the web. As well, we can connect them with outreach services. So if they need a homeless shelter, or they need some social or mental health, we can connect the dots between those services. So we want to sit on top of the existing service in the region and now add this as a new way to collect data, be able to dispense products, and just make life better for a lot of people. What kind of products do you have in there? So right now we've got everything from syringe and inhalation kits, anything that's being used in the harm reduction side. So we have naloxone kits, uh, we've got our syringe kits here, we've got needle kits, we've got uh, sharp collection units. We do have different sundries, so everything from deodorant and uh, razors, uh, things that people might not be readily accessible. We've got condoms, we've got wipes, really anything that could be handed out in, in any specific site, we can customize the unit to its actual needs. And chips too. And chips, because everybody's hungry. We do have uh, the ability to control what products come out when, so some products in the machine have a price tag, other ones just have a limit quantity of how fast they can be dispensed. Normally someone's handing this over a desk, so this is a very... Uh, economical way for someone to now remove that person from having to hand out those items. It can exist 24 hours a day to serve that customer and at the same time it's collecting data that would normally be done by volunteers in a paper form that's easy to be able to be lost or inconsistently collected. This, every item now has a trail behind it and it helps us build now a, a bigger demographic picture of what is uh, you know, the number of people being served, what are their needs, and they have a voice so they can actually request items, they can figure out what works in this scenario, and every site can be customized based on its needs.